Why are COVID-19 vaccination booking websites so difficult to use? By Tom Worthington, Honorary Lecturer in Computer Science at the Australian National University. Occasional seminar in humanitarian computing at his School of Computing, College of Engineering and Computer Science, Canberra. There has been concern about the slow take-up of COVID-19 vaccinations. The Australian federal, state and territory governments and non-government clinics are providing website for eligible members of the public to book. In this seminar I will explore the questions, firstly, how hard are these websites to use? Secondly, how could this be made easier? Tom Worthington's biography. I am an Australian National University Honorary Lecturer and former IT Policy Advisor to the Australian Department of Defence. I helped with the design of the humanitarian award-winning Shana Emergency System. Also I have lectured at Australian National University on the design of pandemic websites, as well as to emergency forums globally. I am a past president and honorary life member of the Australian Computer Society. A public health emergency declared. A public health emergency was declared by the Australian Capital Territory Government in March 2020, due to the COVID-19 virus. Fortunately, just over a year later, vaccinations were being offered free to the public through government clinics and general practitioners. Finding where to get vaccinated. A web search using Google for COVID-19 vaccine booking returned as the first four hits, COVID-19 vaccine booking, COVID-19 vaccinations, how will I get my COVID-19 vaccine, and lastly, booking your COVID-19 vaccination. The first two of these are paid advertisements and the next two native responses. The first is to the federal health website, the next a private clinic in Canberra, then a different federal government page and lastly the Australian Capital Territory Government. These are all credible websites, but that there are two different federal government pages resulting from the one search is confusing. Emergency websites are difficult to design. People under stress develop a form of tunnel vision, so you need to keep web design simple. Unfortunately bureaucrats, I used to be one, tend to make web pages longer and complex when under stress, as they don't want to leave out any important information. Also an emergency situation situation changes quickly. Normally the system for a major public campaign would take months, or years, to develop. In an emergency they have to be done in days or hours. Emergency website assessment. In 2005 I supervised Shelby Canterford, then a student at the Australian National University, undertaking a project on how to design credible emergency websites. From this a set of emergency management website assessment criteria was produced. This came out of frustration with the poor quality of emergency websites produced by local and federal governments in response to bushfires. Australian government's COVID-19 vaccination web pages for 2021 rate well on these criteria, except for navigation and content. Users can find the pages and read them, but not find the information they really need, how to get a vaccination. The first federal government page says, book an appointment if you are eligible, but this is below the fold, below the first screen of information, in the middle of a sentence and thus very difficult to see. The priority in the design of this page appears to be to educate the public as to who is eligible, so as not to overload the system. With the decision to permit all over 50s to book, I suggest this is misplaced. The priority should be on getting people vaccinated and saying, book vaccination. Vaccination centers suggested for O'Connor. After three screens, the federal system displays the nearest vaccination centers. The page is headed with, please use online appointments where available to reduce call volumes to clinics. If you can't find an appointment or a clinic in your location, please check back in a week. However, four of the five entries displayed for the Canberra suburb of O'Connor are for phone bookings only. Following the instructions given, the user would select the one and only clinic which takes online bookings. The only entry which has a link for online booking is to the Australian Capital Territory Government Clinic. 
However, this only accepts online booking from previous patents of Australian Capital Territory Heath and I was unable to make a booking even though I had been a patient. The National Health Co-op web page. The National Health Co-op is a non-government, not-for-profit health service. The web link leads to a vaccinations page, with two buttons, for COVID-19 and flu shot. This then shows the six locations where a shot can be booked. The details of how to register and book are left until later. This is a good design, the user gets to see where they could go, without having to enter a lot of personal details first. However, the information presented contradicts that on the Federal Health website. The federal site lists the co-op's Australian National University Clinic as available for phone bookings only, when it fact it tacked online bookings. The second federal government web page. The second federal government page to appear in the web search results is, how will I get my COVID-19 vaccine? This has a link for book or register for COVID-19 vaccination, but below the fold, so the user has to scroll down to find it. This then links to the COVID-19 vaccine eligibility checker, discussed above. Again the booking link is not prominent, and the page does not appear to be designed to have vaccination booking as a priority. This is not a good design, as the link for booking a vaccination is not prominent. The Australian Capital Territory Health Clinics Map the Australian Capital Territory Health, Booking Your COVID-19 Vaccination page, has the link, How to Book Your COVID-19 Vaccination, above the fold. This then displays a map showing the clinics. However, the clinics have specialised roles are not for the general public. As a result showing a map is misleading, and not useful. Two clinics shown require online booking via the Australian Capital Territory Government Booking System MyDHR. This system requires entry of the Medicare number in a format different to that used by the federal government and private providers, and the number is not displayed as it is entered. Also online registration is only available to those who are already patients in the Australian Capital Territory Health System and in my case, not even then. The ACT Health My DHR Registration The Australian Capital Territory Government clinics require online booking via My DHR. This system requires entry of the Medicare number in a format different to that used by the federal government and private health providers, and the number is not displayed as it is entered. The Medicare number problem the Australian Capital Territory Government instructions on how to enter the Medicare number contradict those of the federal government. The federal government says, enter your Medicare card number, followed by your individual reference number. But the Australian Capital Territory Government says, when filling out the Medicare number, please note the format needs to be XXXXXXXXXXXX where the last digit IRN is what appears next to your first name on your Medicare card. Compounding the problem is that the My HDR registration screen does not display the Medicare number as it is entered. I suggest the Medicare number be displayed and be entered in two parts, the Medicare number itself, and the IRN. Need most vaccinated. These may seem pedantic quibbles over the design of web pages. But this is important, as Australia is in a race against time to get the population vaccinated, before there is a widespread outbreak of COVID-19. Australia needs most of the population to be vaccinated, so the borders can be open to help the economy and to prevent mass casualties. The population will then need to be issued with some form of vaccination certificate to allow for travel, work and leisure activities. Suggested changes to vaccination booking. 1. Booking link at top of page, both federal and Australian capital territory governments should have a line at the top of their main COVID-19 web pages for booking, with buttons for the major categories of the population. These could have captions such as, 50 or over. Book your COVID-19 vaccination now, 50 plus book. 3. Allow Australian Capital Territory residents to register online with Australian Capital Territory Health. The Australian Capital Territory Government should delete the map from their page until there are more Australian Capital Territory centres for the public to choose from. 
The Medicare number entry field on the MyDHR registration page should be changed to use the same format as federal government and private medical sites. The restriction that only existing patients can register should be lifted. For more information search for why are COVID-19 vaccination booking websites so difficult to use on Tom Worthington's blog, The Higher Education Whisperer.